Welcome to another demo video session with us. Today we are going to talk about the rental check-in and check-out process with the QC inspection. So as you know, when we are renting out an item or when we are getting an item back from the customer, we have to do a QC inspection and make sure the item is in a proper state. So before moving into the system processes, we'll just look into the process of QC inspection. So in the shipment process, when you are renting out the item, firstly, we will do the shipment to the customer. But before doing the shipment, we have to make sure our item is in the effective or efficient state. Where we have to perform all the steps that need to be performed to satisfy the customer's requirement. When we generate the shipment, it will be in the item designated location. And then once we start the QC process, the item will be moved from the designation location to the QC location for QC inspection process. After completing the QC inspection, once again, the item will be moved from the QC location to the designated location of the item. As shown in this ER diagram, once we assign the QC item for the QC inspection, then it will make a decision whether it's completed or not. If it is completed, then it will be transferred to the designated location. If it is not, the employees will do the repair and then it will be transferred to the designated location. Then we can start the shipment processing. So that's how the QC checkout process is worked with the shipment. Then if you talk about the QC check-in process, which happens once the item is returned back to us. So once we generated the return entry, the item will be located in the designated location. After that, once we started the process similar to the previous one, it will move back to the QC location. Then once it is completed, once again the item will be moved to the designated location. So as shown in the ER diagram, we assign the item, then it will make the decision whether it is completed or not. If it is completed, it will transfer to the designated location. If not, the repairing process will be done and then transferred to the designated location. And different charges for those damages will be included in the invoice for the customer. Then without further ado, let's move into the system transaction process. So as you can see we have done rental order and now it's pending to be shipped out. Then if we move into create shipment option, we can generate our shipment. After this background execution, the shipment entry will be automatically comes up from the sales order or the rental order that we created. When the shipment is generated, you will be see in the detail level, the QC required checkbox is automatically checked. That means we have to conduct the QC inspection. And in order to do that, you can click on this more menu button and there you will see the QC inspection option. Then you can click on the QC inspection. It will check whether the item is QC required. Then we can move into the QC tracking and inspection screen. So in here you will see it is on inspection. Now we have assigned it to the QC location and it is pending to be inspected. If you want to do the inspection, then you can. Go to your QC module. In there, you will see the QC code tracking and inspection option. So if you move into there, you will be seeing that your item will be in the QC location. Then what you have to do is, you can just give the approval. If you want to add QC details or if you want to do it by QC template, you can do it from using these buttons. Otherwise, you have to change the status into complete. Without changing it to complete, it won't allow you to complete the inspection process. So after completing it, you can select the transaction and then click on the complete button. Once it completed, the QC inspection is completed and the item will be transferred to the designated location.
All right now the QC inspection is completed now you can go into a rental sales order. In there, there's a tab called as shipment. In there, by clicking on this link, you can access the shipment entry that you created. Now, as you can see, on inspection label is gone. That means the QC is completed, as you can see in this checkbox in the QC completed. So after that, you will be able to do the shipment. That's how you're going to complete the QC checkout process. Then after that, the check-in process will be done once the item was returned by the customer. All right. Now the shipment is completed. Now we have given the item to our customer. So once everything is done on the expected date, the item will be returned by the customer. At that point, we will be doing the check-in process of the QC transactions. So for that, I will do the rental return quickly. Then we will be able to look into the QC inspection. Here, the customer will be returning us the item on 23rd. Then you can release the return entry. Now the rental item is returning. After processing, we will be able to move into the QC tracking. Now it is processed and you can see the QC code tracking and the inspection option is available. So by clicking on that you can go to QC tracking screen and you will be seeing the rental return is now available here. Then same as the checkout process if you want to go through the QC details or the template, you will be able to use these buttons. Otherwise you can approve and change the status to complete. Then select the line and complete the QC tracking. Then after that, your rental return is completed and the item was transferred to the designated location from the QC location. So after that, you can move on to the rental invoicing process as required with the standard rental process. That is how we are going to do the QC check-in and check-out process with the rental orders. Thank you for joining with our demo video session. Let's meet soon with another interesting feature.